Chelsea isn't going anywhere. As a powerhouse ingredient, we're going to see a big focus on stability and bioavailability in the skin and maximizing formulas to tackle different areas of the skin. Veganism as well is not going anywhere. As it becomes more and more of a focus of every aspect of our lives, we're going to be seeing skincare really getting on board with that more and more. There being so much conversation around menopause and it in the welfare and kind of health sector, we are seeing an influx in skincare research with regards to treating hormonal skins, um, especially things like adult breakup prone skin. So the other thing that we're looking at as well is burnout and we are helping people to cope with burnout and how it is that they deal with it. In a particular part of Lincolnshire that we're in, we have a lot of business owners, a lot of directors, and they're just finding it hard to keep going and we provide a space for them to come to to relax and we're trying to find more answers to their questions. I think at the moment the biggest trend coming on the spa side is obviously well-being and um, from what we offer in terms of treatments and um, the products that we retail we're looking at trying to build on well-being and it's not the fact that you're just coming in for a massage or a facial it's about coming for a treatment that's going to make you feel better. So trying to understand what's going to make the client feel, feel better and what they're looking for. I think trend dominating 2020 in beauty will definitely be looking at vegan products, green products and sustainability. I think a growing trend is definitely going to be sustainability. I think we are all, as a consumer, much more interested in it now. And I think the conscience is out there. Our teams um, are all asking those questions as well. So I think that's going to grow and grow. Um, I think outdoor space, um, where you can utilise your outdoor space, I think we've realised that people want to be outside, they're not always wanting to be inside, so the more that we can do to bring the outside in or get you out um, is definitely, I think, something that's going to grow and grow. There's a lot of work around sleep which is ongoing um, and ensuring that um, um, women's health um, and um, menopause is something which is really coming onto the agenda at the moment. Spa goers and members are looking for you as a spa to be um, a one-stop shop. So um, where traditionally it's hands-on facials and massages, um, people are looking to what other services you can offer, um, physio, acupuncture, nutrition. Um, I think people are becoming more savvy um, as to what other areas they can come and learn from in a spa.